Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus and Bundeswehr Bob Play Victoria 2. We left off last time having me pieced out of my war with the UK and Austria Hungary. I took um, one state, which I was a little bummed about, but at least it's better than nothing. And uh, yeah, now you know. I'm at war with Sweden. Yeah, Sweden decided, Sweden ascended to great power status, and they decided that uh, their first act was to attack Russia. Yeah. Now. I'm no military genius here, but Russia just got done smacking around the great world power of the UK, who is number one, with like, what, 400,000 troops? Yeah. You know, like on home turf. So, you know. Um, I'm, I'm, just, I'm going to let my, uh, a new mil, well, should I, should I just fucking demobilize? I don't think you're going to need a whole lot of troops. I'm in this war with you as well. Yeah, I'm just going to demobilize. Like, they declare a war on me, and, and, and I'm just like, eh, go home. Actually, I, c I can lower my taxes now. I don't need I don't need that high taxes. So why did this not actually get into my? Sp What's going on here? Alliance from Afghanistan, alliance from Greece, alliance from Krakow. Everyone's like, uh, can we be friends? Everybody wants to be friends with Russia. <laughs> All right, and let's get those tariffs down a little bit to let's go fifteen percent. Well, Austria Hungary did not succumb to my thing, or or maybe it's, it didn't. It doesn't work the way I think it works. I'm not one hundred percent sure. That's a big army, but I mean, a lot Austria, of Austria Hungary is just sitting there now. International crisis. I don't have time for this shit. Uh, Slovakia. <laughs> Austria Hungary's backing Slovakia? Uh, I don't see that actually. It just popped up. Crisis. Waiting on great power backer. Nobody. Yeah. It looks like nobody wants to back anybody. It's like flopping back and forth. Nobody's accepting. Nobody wants in on this business. No. Alliance from Switzerland, sure. Alliance from no, no. Serbia, no. All right. Now there's a hundred and an army of a hundred and twenty thousand crack uh, king. Trouble is brewing. It seems Italy's decided to back Slovakia in the current crisis. Um, Austria hundred accepted. Uh, okay, so now people are accepting crisisy uh, crisis except exceptions. What have I tried to say? Oh wait, no, it's over. Yeah, it, it, nothing happened. Yeah. If somebody was if somebody was like, I'll back you, and Italy was like, Sorry, I'm 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 out. So Slovakia is a free state now. So, um, dibs? Slovakia? Yeah. Oh, I if you want to, I suppose. I, I'm not sure what exactly happened. I thought I had selected the thing to like make Austria like submit to me, but I guess they didn't. Great sure wars what happened. discover. Each war that includes at least two great countries on each side in this status, the Great War. Okay. Oh, can I add a war gold to this thing, I wonder? Can I add a war gold to this thing? Oh, it's not going well enough yet, but we will be able to later. That's good. I might take some territory from Sweden. Let's see. I'm number five still. I mean, I'd like to take some territory from Sweden, too. God, you're a, your industry is just crazy. Yeah. But so is the United Kingdom. I have uh, gained 25% of the, sh the Schwabing circles. During the reign of Prince Regent Lutpold, the Schwabing area of Munich became known probably due in large part to the large university. Okay, so this is just like, hey, let's school. <laughs> Giving me 25 free prestige. Oh, we'll take it. I'm going to go ahead and annex that. Well, not annex, but occupy yeah. as soon as it occupies occupado well, I, well everybody because nobody ex what i think is funny is nobody accepted uh the offer to join me in my war against austria hungary after the war ended they were just like can we still be friends <laughs> you're still big and scary they don't want they don't want anything to do with you might as well go kill the four ships in the swedish navy Here. Trade unions all allowed. 
Oh, I had some rebels pop up. Go so in Russia? No way. Go suppress them. Actually, before that, <laughs> all these UK troops are just wandering through my territory with their heads low in shame as they're trying to get back to friendly ports. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should kill some Swedes before we do anything. That sounds like a good idea. Let the calling begin. <laughs> I I really don't think the Swedish uh, military can really stand up against the sheer weight of numbers of the Russians, like the Austro-Hungarians and the the English could. For a while, at least. Mm-hmm. What can I do here? Sweden on Denmark. I'm going to ban Sweden's embassy from here, because screw you. I think I think you could... I, my, my microphone just picked up my dog coughing in the background. I, I wasn't going to say anything, but, you know. <laughs> if you're going to point it out, I mean... Oh, you guys are stupid. Well, I, I some of the people I told to, uh, told to recruit from Finland... Are just mar just path straight through um, Swedish armies. Very nice. So they they basically were recruited then auto stack wiped. I've just got all sorts of rebellions that are just popping up. I'm able to take care of them. Alliance off from Italy. Sure. Yeah, Italy. I'm able to take care of Italy. Asked for an alliance with me too. I'm able to take care of these rebel stacks. There's got to be a better way to manage this kind of stuff. Uh, movements. Here we go. I I know there is a way to to manage it properly. I just don't know what that is. If you know what it is, please leave a comment down below. If you're less of a dipshit than us, by all means, yes, please <laughs> let us know the secrets of success. United can So there's another war going on. With who and where? Uh, hang on. Not with us. Let's see. Show wars. UK is at war Italian with Italian liberation Italy of Lombardia. And Austria, how can Austria Hungary possibly go to war with anybody right now? Did Austria precipitate it? I don't think so. I mean, if they did, then, like, you know, more power to them. If they want to mobilize and all that. God damn it. Like, half this, this new army I raised is, is either get, is pathing straight through Swedish um, troops or rebels. That the, some of the rebels that pop, so like half of them are dead before they got to uh, the vodka um, uh, rally point. The vodka rally point, because <laughs> that's where they, they rally at at Kiev. <laughs> I've killed most of the Swedish military so far. Rally point distillery. No, oh, I want to acquire territory from Sweden in this. Uh, got diplomacy. Add war goal. Acquire state. Actually, I'm not even sure what states there are in here. I don't know what Swedish states uh, are. Uh, region map mode. What is this? <laughs> what are you? Uh, Gotland. Gertland. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce Swedish stuff. Uh, I know a lot of things are pronounced like TH, but I don't know which ones. Or I'm going to say this thing here. Can I? I don't know. Fire I might state. not. Oh, I can add Gertland. a war goal. Uh, well, how much infamy is that going to 11. give me? I can do that. I cannot eat 11 infamy. I can eat 11 infamy. Woo! Uh, cut down to size. That's even more. Um, free people. And that's that's how we stack wipe armies, ladies and gentlemen. Liberate country. Dismantle. Humiliate. I can do that. What does that do? Increasing our prestige. Oh, I could add humiliate. That's pretty easy to take care of. Grievous insults. From who? Cockland. How dare they? Get it. I, well, you you did beat them up like a bunch before. I mean, yeah, like a million it's years not, ago. It's, <laughs> it's not out of character. So those 9,000 troops that are on the Aland Islands, they're just stuck there now because you got your fleet outside. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's poor choice for them. I, I really wish I could eat the infamy, but I can't. I'm going to go ahead and rush Stockholm, I think. VP rush. VP rush. VP rush Stockholm. That's right. And I wonder how many... Me well, let's see. What did my, what's my soldier pop? My soldier pop is larger now than it was at the start of the war. 
Well, you're encouraging soldiers, right? Yeah, at the start of the war, I had 700,000 men in the bank, and now I have 800,000. Hmm. God damn it. That's, that's funny right there. So... Mm, sorry, Power. but I don't really care that much about the population of Uzbekistan. Sorry, Uzbeks. There has got to be a way to deal with these rebellions. Uh, I'm sure there is. It's Again, I just don't know. Spain wants to be my friend. That's, again, it's one of those things I do not uh, have any knowledge of. Reforms? There aren't any other social reforms I can pass. I can do more trade union stuff? That that leads to more radicalism, though. Uh, vote franchise, I suppose, way universal. Let's see how that affects things. So you're just going super liberal? I just want these people to stop rising up with their guns against me. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't want to have to, like, you know, do this annual purge. Like, it's just... I'm pretty sure there's a movie <laughs> about that. <laughs> it's just like a... Everyone just like gets up and just like up, up. We need to go ahead and kill you now. It's like, oh, okay. All right, so let's merge those together. Put them on auto rebel hunt. Okay, so I need ninety one war war. Jesus score Christ! The, the Italian. I, I, there's, I see a fleet of seventy two Italian warships attacking the British fleet. Mm hmm. Italy. So Italy is really wrecking Austria-Hungary right now, but that's not surprising considering Austria-Hungary. We we like destroyed the fruit, of, <laughs> the fruit of the country. <laughs> First, Russia came in, killed everybody. You know, I mean, the Swedish military is pretty much gone. Now, so now I'm just counter sieging. There's 500 men left in the Swedish military that I can see. Uh, hey, we had another rebel uprising. Uh, surprise. Polish nationalists. Well, why don't you just give all of the Polish territory to me? What? I I don't feel like I, I need to do that. Uh, you know, well, I guess suppose we'll see what happens in the Great War. Yeah, when that hits. Which we're still like 20 years away from. Mm -hmm. Long live Germany. Russia forever. Yeah, I think once we're doing this war, I'm going to take a nice, hard, long look at, like, what, how to deal with rebellion and stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a little ridiculous to have that happen just, like, every year or every few yeah. months. It's just like, oh, another 100,000 people have risen up and, you know, don't like you. It's I like, mean, okay. I've had a couple rebellions, but they're really not that bad. It's usually, like, you know, like, 50, 60,000 people, and it, they're easy to take care of. Well, like the the number of rebellion or you know rebellious people isn't that much, and my armies can crush them pretty easily. It's the fact that I have to go deal with it every time. Like, there's no other mechanism. Like in EU four, there's a mechanism where it's like you can boost stability, or you can accept demands, or yeah, um, oh, you can just do like straight up a harsh treatment. We just de we just desynced. Oh, did we? Yeah, that's no good. Well, how far are we into this one? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. So okay, it's a well, me... short episode. <laughs> Should we give everyone a short one? Well, I, th <laughs> I, I, I think the best thing to, would, would just be to, 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 to end the episode here and to pick it up next time. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I've saved the game. Uh, I think that this is you, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You. Uh, so uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, we would really appreciate it if you guys take a quick look at our Patreon page. Uh, just donating one or two dollars towards the cause goes a long way to helping Bob and I make this a full-time job for us. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more Victoria 2. And we'll see you guys next time. See ya.